girl with Jamelo Mafia. Today I'm making with a story time. So, look, I was chilling, right? I was chilling at the crib. I got bored, so I decided to walk outside. So as I'm going outside, I hear something. But it's coming from inside the house. And notice, I told you I'm walking outside. So I look back. I ain't seen nothing. So I kept walking. Because, you know me, I ain't about to look back twice or three times. If I ain't see it, I'm going to just keep moving. So I stopped. And I just stood there for a second. Because I heard it again. But you know, like I said, I ain't going to look back. So I walk outside the door and I slam it. Boom. Now I'm outside the door. But the crazy thing is, now I hear something knocking on the door. So now I'm just running up the street. I'm gone. I'm killing it. I'm jumping over cars. Jump over another car. Then I jump over another car. But the second time I had to jump over the fence. Boom. But as soon as I jumped over that fence, I landed in the pool. So I'm just like, dang. Now I'm soaking wet. So, soaking wet, mess my jeans up, mess my good jeans up, but I'm away from the house. So now I hear this whistle, and I'm looking, and I'm looking, and I'm like, man, somebody playing with me. But, like I said, me, I ain't looking back for you. I'm out the pool, boom, soaking wet, mess my jeans up, mess my jeans up. But I ain't tripping because you look, let's, let's just pause it. You never look back. You just keep going forward. That's with anything in life. If you're we're gonna talk about that after the story. So I'm walking up the street. I'm walking up the street, walking up the street, walking up the street. And I'm like, man, let me call my mama. So I grab my phone, right? Grab my phone, still walking up the street. But I told y'all not to look back, but I look back because I got to see. Nobody back there. So I kept walking. Kept walking because I'm, I'm soaking wet at this time. Kept walking. Kept walking. Hold up. Because I, I did call. I hit her up like. <sighs> she ain't answer. So throw it back in the pocket. So I'm like, keep walking because I got to keep going. Ain't nobody answering the phone for me. I got to keep moving. So. I hear the whistling sound again. So you know what I do, I look. And I look this way. Man, you know what I did? I took off running. <laughs> Jumped over another car. Jumped over another car. Jumped over another car. Then I fell. Whew. Now I'm hiding behind this car right now. Cause I'm like, man, somebody, I don't know who it is, but somebody back there. So I'm looking over the car. And I'm looking around the car. And I don't see nobody, but I take a breath. Cause I'm wet, I'm tired. And I don't know if you know, but when your clothes are wet, it put more weight on your clothes and it's just heavy. Now I'm breathing the way I'm breathing now cause the story was so intense. Well, the situation was so intense. It was like, I'm reliving it right now. <sighs> but I got back up. And I'm like, if it's following me, it's not at the house. So I'm walking back. Walking back to the house now. Nah. I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking. And all of a sudden, I just decide to start walking backwards. So now I'm looking that way. I'm just looking behind me. But I'm still walking. I'm still walking. But guess what? Out of nowhere, I hear the whistling sound. I go to run into the house. <laughs> I'm looking for the key, looking for the key. I can't find my keys. I think I dropped them in the pool or over one of them calls. I don't know. I'm running. I'm running. I jumped in the window. Boom. Ooh. Cut myself up. Cut myself up. But it was all right, though, because now I'm inside. And it's like, I don't know how they explain this story to my parents. So I'm going to just say somebody broke in because somebody jumped through the window, even though I'm cut up. But don't even worry about that. Because now I done walked to the room. Walk to the room, walk to the room. Now I'm in the room, I'm changing my clothes. Changing, I'm changing my clothes. Cause I got them wet clothes off me. So I lay in the bed. I didn't lock my door, but I'm laying in the bed. 
So I'm sitting, I'm just chilling. Now at this point, I had to kick my feet up. I'm like, man, I had to kick my feet up. Laying on the bed like, if you come in here, I'm gonna beat you with a pillow or something. You gonna get it. They're the wrong place. Guess what happened? My mama called me back. Y'all don't get it though. My ringtone was the whistle that I was hearing. My text messages was the knock that I was hearing. If that ain't funny, I don't know what to tell you. But when I noticed the phone ringing next to me and I hear it whistling, all I could do is laugh. But that's it though. That's that pretty much that was that story. Cause I really thought somebody was after me, but the whole while it was my cell phone in my back pocket. It was intense, it was serious, and at the moment I had to survive. I had to jump over them fences, I had to jump over them cars. I ain't had to land in that pool though. Cause I really don't know how to swim. But I had to do what I had to do to get away. But it was my fault cause I changed my ringtone. But, you know, that's, that's how that story went. But I'm telling you, when you gotta go, just keep looking forward. If, you have, if you're failing in life, just keep looking forward. Don't ever look backwards, just keep going forward. And that's all I can tell you. You might have to jump over some cars to get to where you need to go. You might have to jump over some fences to get to where you need to go. But that's life, you know? So, I'm sure you, I'm just keep moving. Just keep it moving, you know? Help me. <laughs>